Every year, on the third Monday of January, the nation honors the life and work of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. Dr. King grew up in Atlanta and became a pastor at the historic Ebenezer Baptist Church. While there, fighting for civil rights in the 1950s and 60s. In 1964, Dr. King became the youngest man to ever receive the Nobel Peace Prize. Four years later, he was assassinated. Shortly after he died, people campaigned to honor him by making his birthday a federal holiday. That happened nearly two decades later, when former President Ronald Reagan signed it into law. Houston County's NAACP Martin Luther King Jr. celebration looked different this year because of COVID-19. Instead of a march, a caravan left from Warner Robins this morning. Caitlin Savater was there. This is an unconventional way to do it, but we still wanted to come out and celebrate. People still have that, that vigor, that drive. They want to stand up. You may not be able to get out and foot soldiers, but yet you can do something. And Houston County's NAACP did do something. The civil rights organization led a Martin Luther King Day motorcade with more than 40 cars from Warner Robins to Perry. Due to COVID-19, this is the first time many people didn't march side by side to remember King. Participated in the NOACP marches since the 60s. I was probably three, four years old walking with my dad. Ever since I was a little girl, we would just do it and just have fun that day. The president of Houston's NAACP, Reverend Rutha Jackson, said it was important to find a safe way to celebrate. It's important because we don't want to lose sight of the importance of our heritage, the importance of the things that Dr. King did uh, in order for us to have some justice and equality. I also stand here as a kid, as a black kid. And while Monday's march focused on the victories of the past, Joshua Ratchford Jr., this year's keynote speaker, used this day as a blueprint for the future. Because we're the next generation, we're the future, and we need to see how to lead our next generation. Caitlin Sabater reporting in Perry, 13 WMAZ News. Organizers awarded gift cards for the best decorated cars. Macon's annual Martin Luther King Jr. March was also canceled because of the pandemic, but people still found a way to celebrate. Faith and political leaders gathered at Rosa Parks Square this afternoon to lay a wreath. There were speeches honoring Dr. King's legacy, prayers and music. Reverend Johnny Mathis brought his granddaughter Ariana to the celebration to show her why King still means so much to so many. And I want her to know at an early age what Dr. King espoused, and that's the beloved communities where we look at each other's differences and we value those and we yet find common ground. Mathis says he will always be grateful to Dr. King because he taught him at an early age that African-American men are able to lead.